I would say it's as realistic a prospect as it's ever been in PNG. If you go back 10 or more years ago, uh, the game in that country was in a state of disarray and there was a big battle going on in the courts over who actually ran the game. But things have changed dramatically since then, uh, particularly with the birth of the PNG Hunters, the team that plays in the second tier competition in Queensland here in Australia. They actually won that competition back in 2017 and there have been a number of players who've come through that team who've gone on to do extremely well in the NRL, not least uh, Justin Ollum at uh, Melbourne Storm who was uh, voted one of the top players of the season last season. So they put a lot of groundwork in there and they've also organised the structures back in PNG. They have a very successful domestic competition which has got bigger over the last few years and the management structure has basically stayed in place for a prolonged period of time, which in PNG is very unusual. So I would suggest that they've got the groundwork done, and it's a question now of what they do over the next three, four, five years. They say they could have a team ready by 2025, uh, but the likelihood is it would be beyond 2027 when the TV rights deal is done before the NRL would consider allowing another team to join the competition, be it PNG or anyone else. Yeah, so where do you think the NRL would stand on this idea? Do you think they'd be open to PNG, or would they be looking at other places first? Uh, that's an interesting one. I mean, the, the idea of PNG being in the NRL has been floated on and off for a number of years now. If you go back to the last World Cup, for example, there were a number of the pundits who are ex-NRL stars in their own right who were saying it's high time PNG was given a go. They were crediting them with some tremendous performances in the World Cup and the national team has risen to number five on the world now with another World Cup coming up later this year. So I, I would suggest that it's becoming an increasingly attractive prospect for the NRL because PNG, after all, is rugby league mad. It's the national sport. It's the only country in the world where that is the case. And they absolutely love their rugby league. I mean, I recall on my first visit to, to Port Moresby, which is back in 2015 for the Pacific Games that were held in the, in the capital that year, you didn't have to go far to find somebody in PNG who was wearing some kind of NRL jumper. Uh, the, the, the fan support would be huge. The passion for the game would be huge. And there's also an enormous amount of talent in the country, um, which if tapped in an NRL way, I think would uh, quickly rise to the top. I think they could pose a real threat. We've seen political tensions, Richard, in the Pacific recently. The Solomon Islands packed with China, a lot of pressure on Australia to build more re meaningful relationships in the Pacific. Do you think this kind of sporting link between Australia and PNG could be helpful? Well, I would suggest if, if you're looking for an answer to that question, I, I would wind the clock back to the last election campaign here in Australia, because at that point it was official Labour Party policy to, to back a bid by PNG to join the NRL. That initiative came from the New South Wales Labour Party and it was picked up at national conference prior to, to that election. So it would appear that unless Labour have changed their tack over the last three years, they would definitely be on board for this idea. And for that very reason, they think it would be a marvellous act of soft diplomacy to give the people of PNG something they've always wanted, their own team in the NRL. And if you look at what the Pacific Oz Sports Organisation has done in recent times, they put money into, for example, uh, the Kaiviti Silk Tails, the rugby league team that comes from Fiji. They're currently playing in the New South Wales second tier competition and perhaps the biggest success of all, Fijiana, the women's rugby union team from Fiji, who've just won the Super W Championship over here in Australia and beat all the Australian teams and in great style. And they could not have done that without Australian money that allowed them to come here in the first place. Yeah. So how popular would a decision like this be in Papua New Guinea? Oh, the country would go crazy. It's as simple as that. They would, they, they would adore it. I mean, look no further than State of Origin. I mean, every year when State of Origin is played over here in Australia, in Papua New Guinea, you take sides. You're either a blue New South Wales or a maroon Queensland. You know, there's no half measures. And unfortunately, sometimes there are a few, shall we say, wild incidents that happen in Papua New Guinea on the back of State of Origin. But it shows the passion that exists. And when the Australian Prime Minister's 13 has played in Papua New Guinea, the ground is always packed. You literally have people hanging from the rafters, trees, wherever they can get a view of the game. So uh, the passion is undeniable. And I think it could be one of the biggest things that's ever happened to PNG if the NRL were to grant them a place. Yeah. All right. So what would the next step? have to be? What's the next phase of this development? 
I think the next phase is kind of is working out, if you like, what sort of team they would want to be. I mean, w would it be a PNG team made up entirely of Papua New Guinean players, or would it be a PNG team in line with the current NRL teams, which would be a mix of players? Uh, I mean, around 50% of the players in the NRL at the moment are of Pacific Island heritage, and they are mixed in with the Australian and New Zealand players. So would PNG follow that model, or would they maybe go down a purely Pacific model? It has been suggested that it could be a combined Pacific Island team that eventually is put forward as part of this bid. So there are various options. They have to work out exactly what they want and, and come up with something concrete to present to the NRL. Great to talk, Richard. Thanks so much. My pleasure, Bev.